Shalom, shalom to the elect of Yashallah. This is your brother Pawario coming back at you from Great Millstone Des Moines with another quick lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to all you Akims out there pushing his word in truth, sincerity, and always in charity. And as you can see, the title is just a reminder to the elect because the elect is going to know better not to be deceived. With these off the wall wayward doctrines. They're not going to be deceived. With these pop up boys. That's trying to come back to suffocate you. And, and take the breath up out of you. By uh, going back to serving. Uh, JC. With a, uh, with a Hebrew Israelite twist to it. Okay. Um, and, and all these. I mean you got all these people. Because it talks about all these, in the latter days, false prophets and teachers is going to be out there, man, running rapidly, just saying all kinds of madness. And if you simple or if you're part of the two third club or, uh, you know what I'm saying, you're going to follow after these these uh, false prophets and false teachers. All right. So it's just a reminder because, hey, I mean, of course, hey, the elect. Like uh, Yahweh Shai said in Matthews 24 and 24, if it was possible, uh, they sh uh, shall de deceive the very elect. But, hey, it's going it's impossible, man. All right. So, you know, when you got, you got the people that's going to pop up talking about they about to put something in order, man, that's crazy. And it's uh, we already the order is already established. You know what I'm saying? That's just like me and you start a, a business together. Let's say a restaurant. And um, the first year it is going bad and, and you just dip out, man, because you don't believe that it's going to make it, you know. So you just dip out, you know, and, and go back to doing whatever you was doing. And then 20 years later, you know what I'm saying? I got 144,000 or 144 businesses Throughout all throughout the world, you know what I'm saying? All these restaurants I got. And then you come back talking about, hey, I, hey I'm going to put this in order for you. Hey, I'm going to set things right. I'm going to show you how it's done. And, and you know, this and that, man. How crazy you sound, man. You know, after, you know, you had the apostle and the elders lay down the groundwork, been doing this 30, 40 plus, you know, 40 years. And then somebody that's been gone come back, man, and, and think they about to set some something straight, man. And then you come back with a, some garbage, the same nonsense that a hey, that Christianity had taught us, man. Hey, hey, Christianity is is a uh, the worst drug, man, that you can have on you, man. Worse than fentanyl and all these other drugs put together. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't no way and how and no shape or form that we going back to that 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 type of uh, mindset. All right. But anyway, let's start off with this uh, scripture in First Timothy uh, four and one. It says, "Now the Spirit speaketh." Like. It says, now the spirit speak of expressly that in the latter times, some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seduction spirits and doctrines of devils. See, so it's a lot of doctrines of devils. Uh, a lot of these uh, doctrines out here is of the, of, of the devil, man. It's out here to deceive you, to, to how you just, you know what I'm saying, in a dead estate. All right. Trying to take you out of the, the way of understanding, man. All right. It tells you in Proverbs 21 and 16 that the man that warned out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. So if you depart and you wander out of this truth, this, the true understanding of these scriptures, man, you're going to be in the congregation of the dead, man, because you have no understanding. All right. Of these scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Just like it, it tells you in uh, Sirach 6 and 20, 
he that is without understanding will not remain with her. So if you don't have the understanding, man, hey, hey, hey wisdom is not, it will, will not, can't stay, it can't stay with you. It's another scripture that talks about how uh, wisdom can't dwell in a malicious soul. All right. So, it, hey, it's a very scary thing, man. Uh, it's very scary, man, because you're going to have a lot of zombies, man. At any given time, man, the, the spirit can leave you if you ain't right, man, and, and, and turn you into a zombie. So that's why it's very important, man, to stay humble. There ain't no reason for nobody in this truth to be prideful or, you know, uh, any of that, man. The Lord is coming back for those that are humble, those that are meek. The scripture says the meek shall inherit the earth. All right. It's a scary thing, man, to, to become a zombie, man. You know what I'm saying? And a zombie, what they try to do is make everybody around them a, 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 a zombie. All right. So we got to watch out for zombies, man. Cause they trying to, to to bite you and, and turn and make you one of them, all right. And, and and to me personally, man, I feel like if it's somebody that's in the truth, and it, and you feel that it's not for you, or you can't do this no more, or you want to go back to the world because you're missing out on something, I will have more respect if you came out and just said that, man, instead of just lingering around. You know, waiting for chicken and, and liquor to be passed around or, you know, misusing the brothers, you know, uh, you know, all these things, man. Hey, you I, I have more respect for you, man. If you just be like, hey, here's, hey, here's my walking papers, man, as opposed to somebody that's just, hey, you know, what I'm saying just just, you know, just sticking around, man. You know, using the brothers and, and, and all this kind of stuff or thinking it's some type of a uh, boys club or uh, organization or something, man. All right. But uh, initially, I mean, the Lord is going, you know, shift all them type of people out anyway, man. You ain't going to be able to be, uh, uh, be around much longer, man. Cause the Lord is gathering the elect and, and everybody else is, is over with for him. So, you know, that type of, uh, mindset is not going to be, be, uh, tolerated with the lord and he gonna start shifting you know what i'm saying and as you can see he's already doing it man you know but uh so let's get that uh yeah because also it tells you in uh second peters i ain't gonna get i just quoted uh second peters two and one about how false prophets is gonna bring up uh, uh, privately, who privately shall bring in damnable heresies, and and it's just basically bringing them to swift destruction, and that's what's about to come to these false prophets and those that that follow after of them and listen to them and take heed to them. All right, swift destruction is coming unto them, man, and those that follow after it. That's why, man, it's important to. Uh, put on as the elect man like Colossians 3 and 12 on down tells you put on the on as the elect all right and not being deceived uh by every way of do uh, doctrine you know not wavering not doubting you know what I'm saying because a doubt man you doubting this truth is also a sin man pray, you know pray to the Lord for more faith you know more knowledge wisdom and understanding because that's what's going to be our stability in the times to come. Uh, you know, just constantly praying for the to the Lord, man. You know what I'm saying? Praying for the Lord to to the Lord to deliver us out of this out of the out of out of our enemies' hands. Uh, that we be a part of that number when He come, bringing His uh, wrath to this place. All right. <clears throat> so yeah so uh let's get first john
We're going to read 1 John 2 in verse 15. It says, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. Okay. So if you love this world and you want to be a part of this world, man, the Lord is, is not with you. You know what I'm saying? It, it just like it tells you in James 4 and 4, a friend of this world is an enemy to the most high power, man. You are an enemy to the Lord. If you want to continue in this place or you want to go back to the world, you know what I'm saying? You are an enemy to the Lord. All right. Let's read. Uh, yeah. Light, you know? uh, let's read one more. Verse 16. It says, for all that is in the world, that lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes. Lock you. Um, verse 16 it says, For so, like it says, verse 16, For all that is in the world, that lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. All right, so no longer can we be a part of this world, man. All right. Uh, you got examples of like, like the, like it says, remember Lot's wife that went back into the world, that turned back, wanted to go back to the world, thinking they that she missing something. You got an example of of, of Demas when you read in Second Timothy four and ten. How he had went back to the world when he was a part of, uh, he was, you know, as part of the ministry with Paul. All right. But got entangled back with the other things of this world. All right. Because he couldn't handle the heat, man. It's like, man, because shit gonna, ain't going to be, a, it ain't going to be a smooth ride, man. All the way to the kingdom, man. It's going to be some rough roads and bumps that we have to pass. All right. So when it gets worse, worse and things get bad, that don't mean go back to the world. <laughs> no, nah, that means you keep pushing. You keep having faith in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai that he's going to deliver you out of the, those things, man. And if you if you don't believe in them things, you're just, hey, you you didn't lost the battle. You didn't lost the war. All right. Because this is a, a spiritual war that we're, we're fighting, man. And we have to be girded. You know what I'm saying? We got to put on, like the scripture says, uh, in Ephesians 6, you know what I'm saying? Put on the whole armor, of, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right? The whole armor. Not some, not half, but the whole armor because we're going to need, need it in the times to come because shit's about to get bad, you know? It's going to get bad before it gets worse. All right? So it's important for us to stay in this and not and not draw back, man. Ain't no turning back, man. Going back into the world, ain't none of that, man. That's not an option. Okay, that you doing that is like you you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you might as well kill yourself, man. Cause that's what what's gonna happen, man. You're gonna die going back into the world or losing faith in your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. All right. Or, or giving heed to these seducing spirits that's out there. But uh, let's get this real quick in Hebrews. Uh, this is Hebrews 10. And verse 38, it says, now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. All right? So we can't draw back. We can't go back to the world. We can't go back to Christianity. You know what I'm saying? We can't go back 
to the world. None of these things, man. Ain't no turning back. All right. Verse 39, it said, but we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul. So we have to believe in this, man. All right. And not turn back, going back to the world, going back to our vomit. It's a scripture that says, man, turn going back to your vomit, man. That's disgusting. We got rid of those disgusting things, man. We, why go back to it? You know what I'm saying? That's a, a foolish move to make. Okay. But yeah, I mean, you know, that's pretty much the point, man. It, you know, just us, you know, standing firm in this truth and not letting nobody, not even ourselves, you know, uh, take us away away from the crown that the Lord want to put on our heads, man. All right. This is all we have, man. OK. Uh, I think it's in. Uh, uh, where is it? Uh, I think it's in John where it talks about how what, what the Lord was saying. What he was saying to the disciples, will ye also go away? All right, and the disciple, uh, I think uh, Simon um, said, you know, where shall we go when you have the words of eternal life? So where else is there to go, man? All right, we have the words of eternal life, but we have to believe in these words, man. This right here that we have, this word is like the, the GPS to the kingdom, man. You know what I'm saying? This is the map. And, and so we just got to follow the map. And we're on the right path. You know what I'm saying? We on the right path. We just got to stay on that path and not allow no pop up boys. You know what I'm saying? These false prophets uh, or anybody, nobody, your family, your friends, your job. Nothing should uh, turn us away from uh, the, the reward we're about to receive, man. If we just endure to the end all right but that's pretty much it you know lord willing this was edifying i want to give all praise honor and glory to yahweh by shem yahweh shah by shem rakakadash double honors to the apostles at great millstone who rule well salutations to all you akims out there is pushing his word and truth sincerity always in charity barakatham akiyam we almost out this hell hole let's keep pushing and enduring to the end and, and, and we out of here man we got a righteous kingdom right before our eyes man just continue to believe you know and, and stay sucker free you know hey you know it's, it's, uh keep your integrity man when we going through these things man plain and simple man keeping our integrity man and trusting in the lord no matter what all right all right shalom to uh you, you sincere brothers and sisters shalom